Hey y'all, it's Emily Rose, Desert Rose and Bloom, and I just wanted to take a minute and talk about uh, something the Lord has spoken to me uh, to share with you, and it's about heavenly contracts. The Lord has some contracts that He has um, prepared, and He is looking for you guys to sign the contract, and it has to do with the prophetic word I was talking about for 2017, upgrades. It's kind of... Um, a little add-on to that. I'm really excited about this. I've been contending um, in prayer for many, many things. Many of you, many, uh, your prayer request and um, over the, the prophetic word that the Lord gave me in December about the coming together of the body parts and, um, you know, the unity in family, families, the unity in the church, people stepping into their ministry call, ministry portions, and um, you know, people walking in uh, their giftings and stuff. So I've been praying over the, over that and praying over a lot of things. But I had a, I was, I, I was falling asleep uh, a couple of days ago and halfway in my sleep I had a, a, a vision. It wasn't a dream because I was half, half awake, but um, the Lord gave me a contract and I signed it without question. Um, there was a space for another signature. I believe it was for his signature. And I knew what the contract was for, and I knew what it was requiring of me. And I signed it without hesitation because I already knew. And so what I want to share with you real quickly is that these upgrades, the, these promises that the Lord has for you and your finances and your jobs and your relationship and your... Um, in your spiritual life, you know, being upgraded into a new level of glory, things you can, you know, struggle with for a long time that God is uh, upgrading you out of, releasing you from those bondages, um, upgrades in ministry, um, all the things if you go back and uh, watch or read the prophetic word for 2017 that I posted last week, whatever God spoke to you about your upgrades, there's contracts that he's written up. And he wanted me to tell you that our upgrades are work, that our upgrades are a commitment, that our upgrades are an opportunity, um, that they're not just, uh, you know, fluff that's fallen into our lap that don't require anything from us. And that the Lord is, is wanting you to contend in prayer for, through, for the prophetic word that, that he spoke through me and whatever prophetic words that you have, promises that you have, you know, begin to really pray, pray into those things, contend for those things and, um, you know, ask the Lord to show you what your part is because he's got a contract he wants you to sign. And in contracts, it's a heavenly contract, there are possibly things like stipulations, there are um, commitments, um, some of these contracts have to do with divine appointments and divine assignments and divine relationships where you're um, agreeing to do your part to see your prayers answered for the other person. You know, some, many of these contracts are about you're asking the Lord for something. Are you willing to do what is in the contract for you to do uh, in order for this thing to come to pass? And, um, and so I just begin to pray and ask the Lord, what is it that you require of me? And, and be prepared in your heart and in your conversations with God to write out whatever you hear him saying because many of the promises of God are work. Many of the promises of God are opportunity, um, uh, you know, where he's commissioning you to do something with that. He's not just giving it to you necessarily um, as... You know, I mean, some things there might be a, um, you know, you're believing for money for a, a wedding or something like that. It might just be a gift. There are upgrades that aren't um, all ministry work or anything like that. But there's there's still contracts to be signed. And God is preparing them in heaven. And I, I had a dream last night that confirmed this. And uh, it was really a really neat dream. And there was... a. Uh, a contract and there were several places for a signature and Jesus was leading the person to sign here to sign here so read over the contract uh, you know in prayer with the Lord you know uh, allow the Lord to really speak to you because a lot of you are asking for things 
and the Lord isn't re releasing them yet because you haven't really signed the contract. You haven't really committed yourself to do your part. Um, and the Lord, He knows our heart. He knows what's in our heart. He knows whether or not we've actually signed off. And part of it, it could be we have uh, things that are left undone and what we've already been given. And um, so we need to be looking around and with what we have already been given, have we done our part? Uh, one of those things is, I, I said this in the upgrade, you have to let go of the things that are behind. And you, you have to understand that sometimes things correlate in the spirit that don't correlate in the natural. You may be believing for an upgrade in your job or in an upgrade in your finances and you're hanging on to dead relationships. So if the Lord has called a relationship dead and over and you're still keeping the soul ties there and then you're praying in towards your uh you know, for this other job or for this other thing. It might not even be related to the upgrade. Um, you know, like, let's say you're you're buying this new house. This is just an example. You're believing the Lord for house. Whether this is spiritual or, or physical, you sign a contract, perhaps you're in a neighborhood, that there are certain rules within that neighborhood. You can't keep your trash out in the yard. You can't have so many vehicles you know, out and about. And so these things that the Lord has for us, these upgrades, they come with commitment. They come with work. They come with agreeing and um, to do what's in the contract to have that fulfilled. And, and whatever that is for you, seek the Lord about it and really, really, really go in, in prayer. God, I want this thing. You promised me this thing. I'm ready for my upgrade. Let's see the contract. And listen to the Lord. And if there's things and there's points that you, you know, aren't clear about, you know, pray, pray with the Lord about it. And, and allow Him to search your heart. And if there are things that are going on in your life, um, you know, that might be all there is to it. In order to sign this contract, you have to clear out this, that, and something else. And you sign that you'll do that before you receive this thing that the Lord has for you, this upgrade. And so I'm just, I really want everyone... To have the upgrade that the Lord has for them in many, many areas of our lives. It's not just one. This is a huge thing that I know the Lord is wanting to do in 2017 for His people. He's wanting to upgrade our lives, our spiritual lives, our, our mental capacity to understand Him, and our relationships, and our finances, and our ministry portion, and, and you know, into a whole other realm of glory, and... So we are containers for the glory of God, and so we have to let go of the old and really, really, really uh, contend with the things that the Lord has promised you. God's got these heavenly contracts, and He is setting them before you right now. So go to Him in prayer. Go to Him in meditation. Pray and contend with the prophetic words that have been spoken into and through your lives or for your lives. And... Um, and read over the contract and sign. You know, when you're ready, sign and the Lord will know. And when you when the contract's signed and sealed and he knows, it's going to be released. What you're waiting for is going to be released supernaturally. And so, right now I'm just I'm just speaking. I've I've seen it in the spirit. I've had two dreams about it for my my personal life uh, a couple of days ago and then last night um there was this uh, other dream with the contract and, and, and Jesus um, with the person showing them where to sign. And um, I'm really, really excited because this is part of how to receive those upgrades that um, God's been speaking to your heart. So contend in prayer. Look around and see what might be in that contract that the Lord has for you. Seek the Lord about it. Get it settled in your heart. I'm gonna. I'm willing to sign this contract to have my upgrade, and there's going to be, there's going to be a part that you have to play in that, because the upgrade comes with responsibility. That's the other word. It's not just work. It's a responsibility when God upgrades your life. You, you, who's been given much, you know, much more is required. God wants to give us more. More will be required of us, and we gotta sign it. We gotta sign off on it, and 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 enter into that covenant with the Lord about these things, okay? Um, uh, let's see, what else was I gonna say? Um, 
I, I wanted to say that I'm offering to do prophetic counseling just through the end of March. Um, you know, you can sign up through the end of March for, um, I, I asked for a $100 donation because sometimes it t it's an hour, sometimes it's gone as long as two hours just to help compensate for the time that it takes. But um, I want to give people an opportunity to, to get prophetic counseling with me if that's something that's been on their heart and if money is an issue for you. Um, I, I, I want to say that between now and the end of the month, if you contact me, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to set something up for you um, for like a donation of $50 or more, whatever you can give. Um, and uh, so that's just through the end of March. And you guys be praying for the release of this book that I'm just putting the finishing touches on. And um, I'm remembering you in prayer. Send me your prayer requests. Let me know what the Lord's doing. And um, I'm also getting prophetic, personal prophetic words out um, several a day. And I'm working on those. And you guys have a great rest of the week. And contend with the Lord for the prophetic words that have been spoken over you. And read over the contract. Pray and make a decision and sign off. Because God says your upgrade's coming.